I'm waiting for you to go, did you see the holes? But did you see the holes though? <laughs>
they literally look like a fat horn or a pear or a teardrop and you've probably seen this a lot going around and i usually avoid stuff like this when i see a lot of people wearing the same but i i tried them on and that was it i was sold i think they're absolutely beautiful i do not own anything like this earring wise and i'm sure you'll agree everything i tend to have is small it's stud like it's tiny hoops generally speaking so these are I can't tell you, this is absolutely stunning. I was originally looking for the smaller size because they come in two sizes, a size down from this, but they didn't have them, they were sold out and they also come in silver. I wanted the gold, always. And they showed me these, said this is the last we have in the larger size and it's actually perfect. I'm so glad, oh, I love them, they're so, oh, so good. So I got those, I'll open this up for you. I went to the Big H on Faborg and I picked up a little something, which was in here. You know I love my scarves. Do I need to say, do I need to say any more how much I love scarves? This is a vintage scarf. I have maybe two or three Hermes scarves now, and I got another one. I was looking for black and white. That's really it. I didn't want the color this time. And the essay was so lovely. And she zeroed in on this one and because I was scanning the glass case the counter seeing all the scarves and I didn't see one and she said you could go with this one it's actually like it's white with in the darkest charcoal gray this one and look at like almost like the feather like wings on it it's just oh it's so good so I picked up this Hermes scarf and then I think it's fan And I got it so I can wear it tied. Oh, God, it's good. I wear my scarves to death. I love them. Tied around my hair like, like this, all sorts of ways. But I like to mainly wear it here. In the summertime on vacation, I do as a triangle tight at the back. Goes across like that. So there you go. And I wanted it in this particular monochromatic black and white look. And that's exactly what I look at. The, look at the pattern though. It's, it's so pretty. I love it. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at this bit at the bottom right there. That. Isn't it nice? It's absolutely beautiful. Here's the other side, which is a plain polka dot. So I feel like, I always feel like you get two in one. Because if I want, I could wear the plain polka dot side. Or I can just go with the pattern. Gorgeous. Gorgeous! Okay, the Frankie shop. Hold on. Stay right there. Stay right there. I got from the Frankie shop in Paris two fantastic long coats. Two different colors, completely different from each other. First, I got this long, ultra long, matrix vibe leather trench coat in black. I have been looking for a ultra long leather trench coat and it's got power shoulders to it, you know how they do them, for a very long time. I've been quietly looking in vintage shops I see black trenches, but they're never the size I want. They're not oversized enough. They're too fitted. They're never long enough. And I wasn't going to settle. I wanted to find what I wanted to find, whether it's retail, whether it's not, you know, as in vintage, whether it's new or old, high, low price. I just wanted to find that. And I was just laser focused on just quietly looking and it turned up in Paris and it's absolutely fantastic. I'm actually going to wear it for Roger Vivier. I have a presentation to go to today and I should have footage that I can show you here of how I've styled it so you can see on the screen. But this is, this is it. This is the piece. It's gorgeous. You'll see it on in the cutaways. I absolutely love it. It is super long, like I said and i think it's great it's got covered leather buttons i love the shoulders of it of course nothing to say except i love it i actually think it's faux leather i don't think it's real leather and i just think it's just so good look at that the length of it it's oh it's just everything i know you can't see my, my whole body and then the next one i got look at this in white it's like this tailored lapelled coat and it's beautiful absolutely stunning and they had it as well and i had to get it look at the buttons 
it's just everything, it's just, it's perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for and I think it's beautiful. For full transparency, I will tell you that Frankie Shop gifted me these pieces. So just so you know, I didn't buy them, they gifted them to me, which is really, I'm really, really fortunate they did. But I wanted to at least show you that. And I also, as my last piece from the Frankie Shop, this asymmetric cut waistcoat. That's the last piece I got, my third and last piece from the Frankie shop. So absolutely love it. I've seen this for a while and I pulled the trigger whilst I was here in Paris and I think it's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, so those are the pieces. I feel like I'm leaving a couple of things out. You're leaving me out. Okay, he's back. I'm so, back, people. So what oh, did you get? See me. Hello. So this is what Michael got from Milan. Yes, step up. Boom. <laughs> Told you, look, he got Because uh, <laughs> I'm like strapped yeah, with Yeah, yeah, use me. So he got, he got, <laughs> he got these. these are the boots that he got. I know. So we got these. Don't, I don't want to see underneath the boot. I just want to see the side of the boot. Uh, side yeah. of the boot. Yeah. So he, he picked up those <laughs> and I love them. They're I so love good. Them. And they're, they're so comfortable, by the way. Yeah. Like very, very comfortable. I didn't think they would be, but they're awesome. There you go. So he got those. Look at his outfit. Look at him. Look, look. Come over here. Let All him right. see you. All right, fine. Look at him. This is me today. Excuse the mess in the back. Yeah, I know. These are Zara pants, these uh, off-white t-shirt, Uniglow heat tech underneath, and then of course you just learned the bottom boots. <laughs> so that's it. That is it. At least that's it at the moment, all right? So I'm going to love you and leave you. We do have a few things to get done today and go to today. I'm going to take this scarf off as well. But I wanted to quickly just shoot this for you so you can get a little check-in from me and from yours truly as well. I'm out, but these are so good. I was just telling everyone about these and how much I love these shoes. Yeah, they're cool. They are, right? I just yeah. really love these, I think they're so great. I'll link anything that I can in the description box. I know these are in the description box, but that is it for now. Right, I'm out, I'll talk to you later, bye. Well, I'm back. Hello. I'm back because I forgot to show you the vintage things. I can't believe I forgot to show you the vintage things. I was looking at the editing, editing this video and I was thinking, there's something missing. Why is there something missing? I went vintage shopping in Paris and I have the things to show you. And I could not have this video go up without you seeing them. Hold on. So I went to a nice piece of vintage, which is in Le Marais and I've been there before. I went there in September. Do you remember when I got that really long tuxedo coat? fitted it literally just like pools on the floor because it's super long i got that from there i also got a tail coat from there anyway went back there didn't i love them to pieces those guys they are amazing this is what i got from there first off ugh, i found oh i'm so excited i actually posted this on tiktok already like when i went to the shop i actually had to do a tiktok like because i have two shops and they're like 10 minutes of walk from each other so you have to go to both of them they're very like rock and roll kind of edgy vibe right so if you're into that you'll love it it's, most of it i would say is prob most of it majority i think is designer vintage but it's just so good they have jewelry men's and women's it's just edgy rocker vibe it's just so good the eye is like chef's kiss as i always say so you know i like motor jackets right remember the red and white and black one that i got from the flea market in paris the last time in september well by the way this is my uniqlo heat tech leggings underneath so if you see any black here that's what that is i saw what i thought was a motor jacket and i pulled it out imagine a motorcycle jacket and imagine motorcycle leather trousers and put those two together, the jacket and the trousers, what'd you get? You get a jumpsuit. That's what they had, look. Yes, and I know, it's not just one colour either. Which makes it all the better! Look! This is the top part. Look at that! You cannot tell me this is not good. This is really good though. I love how excited you get about fashion. This is crazy. But it's true. But listen, no, but look, seriously though, come on. I'm waiting for you to go, did you see the holes? But did you see the holes though? <laughs> look, that's on the side. Look at the sides. Look at the sides. 
there. There's holes on the freaking shoulders. There's a drop shoulder. Look at the the way it's like white. And then of course it's at the back. Of course it's at the back. It's obviously going to the front, is it? Look. <laughs> it's the knee pads for me. Yes. Knee pads. These are knee pads. Which is there. so cool. And it's got pockets, of course. There's tissue in it. <laughs> I hope that's mine. I was going to say, it's probably from you when you tried them on, knowing you. <laughs> God, I hope that's from mine. Is it vintage? <laughs> vintage snot. I suspect that shit too. <laughs> so, you can zip it up. And look. Mm. Right, you can wear it low like that. Sexy, all the way up. This is f***ing badass, I'm sorry. Look at that, that's everything. I'll show you on the screen here or here because I did try it on on my TikTok. So if you want to see how everything is like as in close to real time when I go to places, I just fling it up first on my TikTok. So you'll see it there first. And then, of course, he showed me this because he knew how I was going ape over that. So he showed me this, didn't he? I love this too. Leather overalls. Dungarees. It's like this. You can see if I put the white. See? See how it just curves on the front? Adjustable straps here. Gorgeous, yummy, buttery, thick, thick leather. Hope you can tell. And look, Super thick. Knee pads. And knee pads right Very there. Cool. Look at the ribbing on the side. Oh, the light went off. I was off. gonna say the light went off. Oh crap. What does that mean? <laughs> we got the light back on again. So yeah, both of them are big for me. I'm actually going to get them tailored at the backside because they're actually meant to be for like riding a motorcycle. You'll see that at the back, it's kind of shaped with extra fabric or extra leather in the seat area because it's meant to be for someone who's like this, positioned over a bike like this. And when you're positioned like that, you're like this, right? Like that. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why it has extra give in and, and material at the back, well, leather. So I'm gonna have the seamstress or tailor just literally open up the seam and then take out some excess leather from the, just from the bum. Apart from that, the legs fit fine, everything. It's just so good, it's so well made. It's so well, it's so well made. I'm gonna show you here how it looks on me. And I was wearing it over like my gray jumper and that's exactly how I would style it. Oh, God, these are so good. And, oh, God, wait to see the other two things I got from there. Hold on. Then I saw this gorgeous dress. In fact, they saw it for me. And so, tell a like, they found it, not me. And I just love it. I guess they're just starting to know my taste now. So it's this gorgeous, vintage, boho-style, flowy dress. It's, I don't know if this is even coming across on camera. I didn't but it see has... that. I didn't notice you got that. Really? Yeah. Where were you hiding that? I wasn't. Maybe when I bought it, he turned it. Remember, you opened the car door and he put stuff in the back seat. Uh -huh. That so he put that in, but you didn't notice. So people, that's called second round shopping. Anyway, it's got like these like multicolored. You can see it. At least I can see it. Multi. Oh, you can see it a little bit. Sparkles like all over it. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it here. Maybe not. Just take my word for it. They're there. And it's all over it, so, and it's got beading across the neck. See that's oh, you see that beading across the neck? Imagine that in round form, all over, scattered all over the dress. Oh, there you go. See that, see how it's like sparkling? That, and it's all over the dress. So imagine wearing this on a sunny day, and you're walking down the street. Imagine what that, that multicolored sparkles is gonna look like. It's gonna look beautiful. Beautiful flowy sleeves and look how it's all been cut up. So it's gonna have a beautiful movement to it. Elasticated here, like a slight drop waist. Doesn't fit me tight, it just skims off of my body. Midi length, it's just stunning. This is gonna look good in one of my favorite ways to wear something like this. It's gonna be with like cowboy boots, tall knee high boots with like stacked wood heel, something like that, very like vintage 70s. Um, and also you can wear it with obviously sandals as well. You know, just keep it very casual in the summer and the springtime. This is a gorgeous dress in the winter time. Just wear like a tight polo neck, like the black ones I wear all the time. Just wear that underneath. So you've got like his end with the arms, you know, the sleeves for the, for the jumper. 
gorgeous it's so pretty on again i'll show you some tiktok footage on the side so you can see how it looks and then the last thing i can show you hopefully this is the last because you know there's still a few more days left of paris so you never know i might see something else that's vintage that i want is this stunning i want to say this is duchess satin tuxedo coat could not leave this coat covered duchess satin buttons look at this right i know i know i can hear you going wow don't worry I can, I can actually hear you it's the length for me yeah exactly that's what she said i love the peaked lapels as well oh, he's laughing he's, he's laughing right there <laughs> look at the the covered buttons here can you see them and it's it has just like a structured look to it, it does wow. which is why i love it so much this is like the yin and yang to the frankie shop the white coat i just think it just dawned on me so I got the Frankie Shop one in white, and now I've got a vintage version, almost identical menswear cut, vintage. This shop is amazing, thank me later. If you go, tell them that Karen sent you. Oh my goodness, who is this by? Because I know you're not gonna say, who's this by? It just says made in Hungary. That's what, that's what it says, inside pocket, so you know it's men's, fully lined. This is flawless, there's nothing wrong with it, and it hits perfectly, like the length of it, I think it stops like between my calf and my ankle. So it's just the perfect like long length. This is stunning. Usually men's stunning. jackets have it on the inside. Have what? The labels, not necessarily oh! the top. Yeah, they usually have it there. What does it say? It says, clock. Clock, clockwork G, orange G, G. <laughs> no, it's Claude, yeah glog hold on let me read it yeah it's like glog do you moving it so much there we go globberg's quality clothing wow there you go yeah g and g anyway hopefully you guys can make that out yeah but that's on the inside of it stunning right absolutely amazing you look can't say i don't do like killer hauls i'm sorry but mixing this is like the definition of a karen haul is getting like that mix of luxury and that mixture of vintage thrown in as well. What is this? What's the hands? It's like, it's like I'm making something in the air. Oh, I'm so glad I put that stuff in. I almost forgot, but I couldn't. I was sitting there editing this, looking at this damn video and going, there's something missing. Why is this video so short? It's not gonna be so short. Now it's gonna be the proper length. That's it. Now that is actually it. That's the end of the video. I will see you on my TikTok and on my Instagram, Karen Brickchick. Give this video a thumbs up. If you saw something in this video that you actually liked in terms of what I got, tell me your favorite piece that I got. All right, tell me in the comments your favorite piece. I know what one of my favorite pieces are. But anyway, I'm gonna go for now. I'll talk to you later. Um, I've got to take my makeup off and get changed and all that good stuff. And I'll see you later. Bye. I forgot one more piece to show you and it is a bag and it's my first of its kind from Dior and I love it because of the color I'm just going to show it to you right here um, I wanted something that was like very like um, flexible and universal in my wardrobe that would go with everything and here it is Ta -da! my mini lady Dior bag here it is with champagne gold hardware and I absolutely love it so good it fits everything i need my vlogging camera phone wallet keys you know it just fits everything i need so that is another piece i picked up right and now i definitely am gone i'm not saying anything more right right i'm done now right maybe anyway i'm gone bye <laughs> <laughs>